Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, bienvenute, welcome, kroisui, assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Guten Tag, everybody. Uh, here in Zach, I'm here with Zach, not here in Zach, here with Zach, sitting on my bench. Are you right there, Zach? You a good boy? You daddy's boy, give me paw. Give me paw. Paw. Quick, give me paw. <gasps> oh, he's such a clever little man. So anyway, so that's the only trick he does. Um, so yeah, so I'm here with Zach and I've got a bit of an unboxing to do. Now, at the moment whilst making this unboxing, ugh, I've had a couple of vacuums arrive and I'm really not sure which one this is. So obviously from the title and everything, you'll know. And obviously I'll know once I've opened it. But at this very moment in time filming this, I have no idea what is in this box. So let's put Zach out the way. There we go, Zach. And I'll move you guys a little bit closer and we'll undo this box. Now, I know some of you don't like unboxing videos, which is fair enough, but uh, I quite do. I do quite. I can't speak tonight. I do quite because uh, it's like Christmas, um, especially when you have a couple of items and you don't know what on earth they are. Uh, there was a... The guy that I sold the... Electrolux contour to the upright uh, he said that uh, he was going to send me a vacuum for the channel and if I wanted it and I was like oh my gosh yes that would be fantastic um, there was somebody else as well who offered to send me a vacuum cleaner as well so I'm not sure what this is so I'm just undoing the wrappings gently Uh, I think I need to flip it over. So, let me cut this. Bit off. It's rubbish night tonight. For recycle so I can get rid of this box now let's have a look I'm still not sure what it is first thing that comes out is a short stretchy oh it's got holes in it a short stretchy hose with holes I'm not sure There's an extension to you. There is a handle. All oh, right, okay, I think I know what this is now. I didn't think this was gonna be an upright because it's packed very well. Just I've knocked my lights off. There we go. Actually, I don't know if you can see now. Hang on. Okay, I've had to move you back. Well taped. Lots of bubble wrap. Tape. Oh my gosh. Still, I'd rather have to do this than to pull out pieces of broken plastic. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh. There we go, my friends. This is a Dr. Nilko. 
which I thought was kind of funky looking. I'd never seen one before and I saw it for sale and it was on a buy it now. So and I thought, oh, that's an unusual vacuum cleaner. And I like unusual vacuum cleaners. I'd never seen one before. So obviously I've heard of Nilco because I have a Nilco. Let me just insert that. Tighten up the screw. the metal handle that's broken on it I can see uh, this is the hose which goes there that goes there ah. fit in properly. Doesn't make sense. Okay, hang on a second. I have to pause this and have a look at the picture. So I've had a look at the pictures on it, and the pictures don't really help me much uh, at all, to be honest. Um, on the way that this should go, it doesn't seem to look right. So anyway, so this is a Dr. Nilco 1207 Advisory Cleaning Centre, Langley Road, South Salford. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of a SIBO. And I'm wondering if this is like an early style kind of SIBO that was given a different name. Um, let's have a look. It's a Fakir type Dr. 1207, 770 watts. Hmm. That's about it really, that's all it says. Uh, I've never seen one of these before, so if someone can help me, that would be much appreciated. So the bottom is powered because there's a cable running down here going into the bottom of it and it kind of just reminds me of a little bit Seaboyish. Uh, if I pull down the front okay there's a a manky filter not too manky and There's a bag housing there. Right, let me see. It's quite a big hole actually for it. Um, let's have a look and see if a um, non-genuine type of um, pneumatic bag will fit on it because it's quite a big hole. Oh yeah, it will actually. There we 
we go. Let me tuck it in because it's kind of a big bag. There you go. Right. <laughs> Let's plug it in. The motor on it sounds okay. Right, let's switch it on. So it does work, it does spin around. Let's get you guys a bit closer and we'll have a look at this. Okay, so this is the Dr. Nilco. Let me switch it on and check the suction. <laughs> The motor on it sounds pretty good. Could do with a good clean. Let's do this. And you should see the brush roll move. Right, this definitely needs a new brush roll. Let me unplug it. Not a new brush roll, a new belt, I mean, sorry. It needs a new belt. Let's take these screws out. There's three screws, but one of the screws is missing. It doesn't want to come out. Screw here. Does not want to come out. Yeah, the belt on it is jelly. Right, let me turn you off a second and let's see if I can get this open and uh, change the belt. Okay, so this bolt I had to drill out because it was wedged inside of here and would not come out. So I've had to drill the screw out of it. So I'm just going to pop that to one side and let's remove the base cover on it. This is the belt which slides out. It's a little bit gunked up. Let me see what I can do. Let me get my little scraper. Get my little pick. I will give this brush roll a much better cleaning once I have sorted it. 
quite a nice brush roll on it. Bristles on it are a bit uh, soft though. They seem like natural bristles to me. It's just a bit soft. Let me put some oil in these bearing caps because they look very dry. Because I don't think they've been oiled for a long time. Two. That'll definitely help. Right, now this belt. Is got, it's actually got a Hoover belt on there. Uh, let me see what I've got. Okay, I've got a belt. Let me just get rid of these. Let's... Yeah, there's a split there. So I'm going to have to reinforce this on the inside when it comes to the full refurb. Right, the end caps have markings for one and two. Let's put it on two. <laughs> this is going to be hard, hang on. Okay, so like the Sebos, this has got a power head separate to the actual motor for suction. Because there's no pressure on the spindle on that, the wind down is slower. So there we go, so that is a new belt on. Now this... It's going to be a rat pain in the derriere. This screw here in the middle is completely fine. So I'm just going to put it on with this screw because that one will get fixed and there was a screw missing on there so I will put a new screw in there. But for now, it's fine. Right. Let's put it on the floor here. Let's give it a go. Can't really see much, I'm just going to be testing it. It's quite nice actually. I quite like that. It's very an old one. It looks like an old style, kind of like commercial one. Um, the hose on it, like I said, it's got holes in it, so and splits. But that's not a difficult. That's not problematic to um, change that at all. Right. Let me get rid of this um, pile of um, bubble wrap that I got there, and let's just give it a push around and see how it picks up just a little bit of dirt. Okay. So I got the Doctor Nilko there. I have. Oiled his wheels because it was a bit squeaky and the new belt is on. I'm going to put down some Mad About Mess. I'm 
I need to fill up my tub of mess, Steve. Right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one forward and back pass. Let me put it down that way because they see it more. And uh, let's see how it performs. I think that's a pass. What do you think? I don't think that's done too bad. Let's take a closer look. Let me take you off there. It's definitely picked everything up. It's picked the pile up a little bit as well. I don't think it's done too bad with that new belt and I've got a nice bag fitted into it. It'll it is definitely losing slight suction because of the hose. Um, so I will definitely address that, but uh, yeah, let's carry on picking up the rest of the stuff. Okay, it's, uh, it's definitely a quirky machine. It's not very loud. It's got a nice long cord on it. It does very well for a little old commercial vacuum cleaner. No leakage, so definitely using the fleecy um, bag on it is a really good idea. It's picked up everything in there. No leakage whatsoever. I will replace a filter on it, put a new filter, clean it out. But it seems to work very very well so i can't complain i saw this on ebay and i was like "Ooh, that's unusual and so there we go let me tuck that in close it up <laughs> so there we go that is my little unboxing and quick demo of my dr nilco if somebody has more information on it i'd really appreciate it because I tried Googling it and stuff and I couldn't see anything on it. So 
Um, if anybody else can uh, let me some have uh, any more information on it, I'll get the hose repaired and um, I've got loads of tools. I'm sure the SIBO tools will fit on this because it looks like this kind of um, attachment on it. So I have a spare, ba uh, a spare bracket for my Felix, which I'm sure will fit on the handle of that. I'll have to have a look. Um, oh, actually, no, maybe not the Felix, the SIBO one, because the Felix is triangular, whereas this is more like the SIBO X. Anyway, I'll get that fixed and I'll get some tools on it and I'll get it cleaned up and it'll look really nice and I'll give it another demo and give it a whole house clean demo. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed this first look. Uh, please comment, like and subscribe for more videos. And um, I will see you guys very soon. Bye for now.